Hello, and welcome to my Halloween series, where we learn about the creepy and scary folklore of the Caribbean. These stories have intrigued me since I was a child, and I hope you enjoy it too. Disclaimer, don't watch this alone at night though, unless you have nerves of steel. Now let's get into the video. The Sukunya, also derived from French Creole, Suninki Sukunya, meaning man-eating sorcerer. The Sukuya or Sukunya, as known in Trinidad, is also known as a fire hag in Barbados. It's also called the old hag in the Bahamas and St. Vincent, and the old hig in Jamaica and Guyana. The Sukuya is a shapeshifter who appears as an old woman by day and a ball of fire by night. When night falls, she peels off her human skin and places it in a mortar, as in a mortar and pestle. Then she will take flight as a ball of fire, traveling the night sky looking for a sleeping victim. The creature can enter through even the smallest crack, an open window or open brick. A sukunya sucks the blood of humans, leaving a black and blue bruise on the body. It is also said that if the sukunya sucks too much blood from the person, they may turn into a sukunya themselves or perish soon after. Certain iterations of the legend says that the sukunya uses the blood of their victims to perform black magic and use it as an offering to the demon Basil the demon of the silk cotton tree. In exchange, she will receive evil powers. To catch a sukunya, place a generous heap of rice on the floor of the room that she enters, and this will compel her to stop and count each and every one, which gives you enough time to catch her when morning comes. You can throw salt on her exposed flesh or you can pour salt onto her human skin that she left in the mortar. This salt will prevent her from putting the skin back on and she will die. It is believed that the Sukunya was brought to the Caribbean by the French as the Sukunya's origin is French and is their version of a vampire. The legend has definitely been formulated over the years through the combination of French and African storytelling. It survives the storytelling of today. Mama Glow is another jambi of French origin called Maman de Lou, which means mother of water. This terrifying creature is a beautiful woman from the waist up and an anaconda from the waist down. As a protector of the forest, she chases hunters or anyone who burns the forest and kills animals without need. Their punishment being a forced marriage to her for life and all future lives. Hunters of the past have recounted tales of being chased through the forest, hearing the snapping of twigs at high speeds. She is said to live in natural pools, ponds and lagoons in the forest. Men would see her bathing in the waters in the moonlight, but if she notices that she is being watched, she disappears in a flash of light, leaving the witness to wonder if their eyes were playing tricks on them all along. The only way to escape Mama Glow is to take off your left shoe and leave it upside down, and make your way quickly out of the forest, walking backwards all the way home. I don't know about you, but I surely would not want to meet either of these zombies face to face. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please leave a comment, a like, and subscribe. Please let me know what else you've heard about these terrifying creatures in the comments below. And until next time, stay spooky!